This one's called Attack the Hole. Um, as you can see, we have 10 cones here, and we're looking at a playing area that's going this way. And we have three attackers. and two defenders. The object of this game is for the attackers to get the ball over this line while maintaining social distancing. To start with, the defenders can simply decide which of the holes, and by holes I mean this, 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 and this, they're gonna fill. And we'll keep it nice and easy to start with as a warm-up. One always starts with the ball here. And as you can see, there's a hole here. There's a hole there. The attacking team look. They communicate which hole is free. And then they attack it. As a starting point, it's a good idea to label the holes. I would go with A. B, C, and D. That will help you when you're looking for the holes and will definitely help you when you're communicating them. As you can see, it'll be quite straightforward when you're just watching the defenders move into position. C's free, C's free. Boop, get the ball moving, boop, boop, into there. That'll soon get quite boring because it is quite easy. So then what's the next thing to do? Well, we're going to make it a little bit harder for the attackers. They turn their backs on, and then the first defender will always say the guy furthest that way, shouts, tells them when to go. They turn as soon as goes gone, and they have to attack straight away. So now you have to be looking for the holes while you're on the move and communicate that while you're on the move. It's a little bit quicker. So you could say D, 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 and attack that one. Again, this should hopefully be straightforward. Yes, you have to move a bit quicker, but once you get the swing and things, there's no real challenge here. And obviously we're keeping our distance by staying away from the cones the defenders are in. So defenders, make sure you're staying in the middle and I'll keep the cones two or three meters apart. The next stage is to add a bit more complexity to it. And again, we're going to have this guy here, the first defender, wearing the decision-making trousers or skirt. So again, these guys start with their backs turned, ball here, as well as calling out go, four will call out either miss, switch or loop. And the attackers have to attack and get through the holes using one of those things. So they may decide to go like this, go switch. So we would expect the attackers to use a switch to go through the hole. This could look like this, a pass, two takes it out, three switches, takes the ball through this hole. Again, maybe they're calling a miss pass. So again, it could be as simple as Miss, C3, C3, and then a miss pass out here. Could be a loop pass, in which case one may pass the three, and then you attack the hole with two looping round and taking it up there. The final way we can make this a bit more complicated is that this defender here, when calling go, could say miss switch loop or instead could count out the number of passes that's need so go two passes so you still need to get through these holes but you need to do it in the right number of passes so go two so rather than just passing to this guy to take up you need to make sure you're doing your two passes it gets more complicated the higher the number i i really wouldn't go higher than three or four because otherwise it then gets unrealistic but we could require three passes. Think about direction. One way to do that might be one, two, and then back inside, three. You don't always have to stay in this then, so one way might be nicely to stretch the defence. One, sorry, 
one, two, and then a long pass back inside. You could still use passes and switches here as well. This will test your decision making under pressure as well as using those core running and passing skills of the miss pass, the switch and the loop. That one's called attack the hole.